Well, this is a culmination of a year's worth of events celebrating 100 years of photography at Newport. It's true to say that the most exciting part of that history has been in the last 30 years, uh, when David Hearn started the documentary photography course here at Newport, and since then Newport has flourished into becoming one of the leading photographic schools in Europe and in the world. So tonight, David is with us. We have lots of other people who have come through Newport, who have been very successful as photojournalists, as artists, as photographers. And it's a, it's a wonderful experience. It's a gathering of all the great photographers that have come out to Newport. It was at a time in, in, in the country where, like now, jobs are difficult to get. So I got talked into setting up a course of which the prime thing was I'm going to teach people how to go and have a nice job. And, and that's what it was really about. That, that's what I've done all my life. You, you know, I've taken pictures. I, I've led a life which I think is totally blissful. I've loved every moment of it. Um, and I still shoot pictures five days a week. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I pretty much hit the ground running as soon as I graduated. I, um, I managed to get a job with Barry Lewis as an assistant and his agency network then helped me get some assignments. And I started working pretty early on for newspapers. So my first big story was very soon after graduating, I went to cover the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. And then from then on, it was just a, a, a constant, really, you know, almost a domino effect going from one big news story to the next. So I covered news and current affairs globally for about 10 years after that. The tutors were great, the people I did the course with were great, and kind of gave me the support to make the work that I wanted to make and continuing to do it. So I think I owe new quite a lot. And the name of the uh, university had a currency, the course had a currency whenever um, you were kind of working within that field, which was really good. But also just um, the, the amazing history that um, I guess we're quite lucky to get here. No, that's how I feel. I, I just feel I, lo I love everything, as long as it's done well. What I hate is things that are done in a trivial way. And so I continually hear people say, oh, well, I didn't have time to do that, or I didn't have the... My thing is, well, don't do it. You know, either do it well, or go and do something else. It, you know, it's like when people come to me, should I be a photographer or should I be work in Tesco? I said, work in Tesco. Because photography is something that you don't ask questions about whether you do. You do it because you have passion for it. And if you have enormous passion for it and you get fun out of it, then it's worthwhile. Simple.